What is going on guys and welcome to another episode of Transfers or Transfer News and Gossip. In the first episode I brought you uh, different lines, different thoughts on Transfer News and Gossip including some confirmed and done deals including the rumour that John Terry could be linking up with Eddie Howe at Bournemouth. That deal's off the cards. That deal will not happen. Uh, make sure you go check out that video if you want to see any uh, rumours that were in the news a couple of days ago. And I said it would take me a couple of days and I'll bring out another episode and that is exactly what I've done. A lot of shit has hit the fan since we last spoke, including the Diego Costa uh, and Dimitri Payet drama. Uh, I think one will go and one will stay. I expect Dimitri Payet to complete a move to Marseille this uh, summer. I think it would be the best thing for West Ham. I think they proved at the weekend they don't need that negativity. And, and they don't need that type of player around the club. And they are more than fine on their own. I expect him to move back to Marseille. Now, Marseille were open to buying him back. But allowing him to go back to West Ham for the rest of the season. However, due to the reaction the West Ham fans gave at the weekend. That now looks unlikely. And if a, if a deal was to happen. It would more than likely be a permanent one. Right from the moment it was struck. However, Marseille's offers and West Ham's valuation at the moment there is still a big difference and there's going to be a lot of work to see whether they can come to an agreement as of yet so that deal nowhere near to be completed but I do expect it to grow across the line by the end of this transfer window but I think it's one that will probably flutter in right to the end and will go right close to the wire. Diego Costa I think he'll stay all the reports, all the sources basically saying he stay. Costa and Conte apparently forgotten uh, about the situation. They're over the situation. They spoke today and Costa is back training as normal. And apparently, due to the new rule in China that uh, a limit on foreign players is basically now impossible uh, for some of the Chinese clubs to bring in people like Costa. So that Costa deal is almost done, at least for this window. I'm sure it will uh, re-emerge in uh, the January transfer window. But if we just go through uh, the done deals since we last spoke, Jeffrey Slut made a massive million pounds move from uh, Leicester City to Crystal Palace. 12.5 million for me, that's overpaid, but at the end of the day, that's the sort of price of players at the moment. Everton are probably our most uh, busiest club since uh, the last episode. Lukeman signed, obviously, from Charlton for 7.5 million, scored at the weekend, and that incredible performance against Manchester City. And Morgan Slider also made a switch for 24 million from Manchester United to Everton. A great sign in there, and I think both their players will be something of very, very good. And I said that the Snyderland deal might create a little ripple effect, and it has to a certain extent, um, and, and, and we'll see in a minute couple of uh, Everton players leaving um, one of them being uh, that Nicey or Nisi uh, Umar Nisa on loan to Hull City uh, they've also signed Marcus Henriksen um, who featured I believe in the what do we call it uh, League Cup game I believe that deal was already done uh, and that was for 4.5 million and also Gobel from Porto for an undisclosed free so Hull pretty busy uh, Leicester City the only one that they've signed this summer is uh, Ndidi um, as I said, we've already spoke about Schlupp leaving them. Man City, Man United, nothing as of yet for them. Rudy Gasted uh, has completed his move from Aston Villa to Middlesbrough for an undisclosed fee. Rudy Gasted, interesting to see whether he can cut it in the Premier League. Didn't cut it last year when he was here with Aston Villa. Uh, it's been interesting to see whether he works out for Middlesbrough. And another guy in Middlesbrough are looking to sign is Patrick Bamford. They had him on loan a couple of seasons ago. He is leaving Chelsea. He was recalled from his loan move at Burnley, apparently for this permanent move to Middlesbrough and it is going to be a permanent transfer and that deal should go across the line very very soon we're just waiting for confirmation on that deal because the medical uh, was completed yesterday uh, for that deal uh, Lee Grant of course we mentioned it last episode made his loan move a permanent one to Stoke City Sunderland as of yet yet to be active although there is rumours that they do want Phil Jagielka so possibly a link up between Moyes and Jagielka again Swansea City have signed Narsing from PSV Eindhoven for £4 million and today just confirmed breaking news that they have also signed Martin Olsen for an undisclosed free from Norwich City. Norwich City who said that they've got to sell before they buy are now uh, joining Aston Villa in the race for Henry Lansbury. Tottenham as of yet not got involved in the transfer window. Tom Cleverley though has moved to Watford on loan from Everton. So Everton has just bring a couple of players in, let a couple of players out and we still expect a couple more departures from Everton and a, a couple of more incomings possibly. They're still interested in Depay although Depay looks likely to move to Leon. although a bit like the Pyatt situation where the valuation uh, you know West Ham's valuation for Payet, um 
and Marseille's valuation is very, very different. That's the same sort of thing uh, with uh, Leon and Manchester United. United want more than what Leon are willing to pay. Whether they can come to some sort of agreement, we'll have to wait and see. I expect both deals to go across the line. But Tom Cleverley has made his low move uh, to Watford and he nearly scored at the weekend against Middlesbrough. But I believe he hit the bar. Nothing as of yet from West Ham in wise but they're linked with a lot of people including striker Michi Bashway that rumor will not go away another rumor that won't go away Fernando Lorente um, going to uh, Chelsea that move as of yet uh, is not going away Manchester United's arguably one of their best players of the season um, Valencia has signed a contract sent and extended his contract for a year it was it was set to run out this summer and he has extended that contract by a year um, Chelsea also are looking into the possibility of getting Alvaro Morata in as a possible replacement for Diego Costa. Now, although Diego Costa doesn't look likely to leave January, it would be a shock if he was to stay at the football club much past the summer. So Chelsea looking in to possibilities to replace uh, Diego Costa and Real Madrid's Alvaro Morata is one that they've looked in in the past. They actually had a bid rejected in the summer and it looks as if they're going in for him again. Um, so yeah, Alvaro Morata to Chelsea could well be on the cards. Now that would be a big money move. I doubt it would happen in January, but it could happen. Uh, well, it could happen uh, in the summer. AC Milan want Gerard Delafeu. That's one of the uh, other exits expected from Everton. Um, but we're not sure whether Everton want a, a loan or an option to buy or, or, or they just wanted to buy him outright. There's some confusion with that deal. But AC Milan have confirmed their interest in Gerard Delafeu. Um, and talking about uh, strikers, Gabby Adini is linked with a move to West Ham, Southampton, Swansea. We know Swansea and West Ham in need of a striker or apparently so. And uh, that's apparently what they wanted. There was a line yesterday that Thomas Muller uh, and Chelsea uh, were in talks but of course that was not a confirmed line by anybody particularly legitimate although there was a rumour that Chelsea were looking into um, that deal uh, for a £75 million deal to bring uh, Thomas Muller unsettled at Bayern Munich to Stamford Bridge. Apparently the Sun are reporting that Manchester City have held talks with Barcelona, Barcelona over a £100 move for Liano Messi but I don't expect that to happen. The Daily Star report and Guardiola are going to get 250 million in order to turn the club's fortunes around. Um, and Guardiola is now looking for a new uh, goalkeeper after Claudio Bravo is pretty goddamn shit. Talking about uh, West Ham and out there, they've pushed for a striker. They've been linked with Gabby Adini, Michi Bashway, uh, Hogan, who interestingly was on the bench for Brentford at the weekend. Uh, a couple of bids rejected there for West Ham they've had in this window. They've also gone in for Snodgrass and other players. But um, they're now looking into another championship striker and that of Leeds striker Chris Woods, who's 25 years of age. Um, but again, he's valued at £15 million and that has put off West Ham and Sunderland, who are also interested in him. We know, obviously, uh, West Ham also have been interested in possibly signing Jermaine Defoe, but Sunderland saying that is not going to happen. Um, Sam Allardyce has confirmed that Carl Jenkinson and Crystal Palace have agree agreed a move, or should I say Crystal Palace and Arsenal have agreed um, a transfer for Carl Jenkinson, but no confirmation as whether that is, as of yet, official. Uh, no medical has been done yet. Hull City looking at Emmanuel Emanike, FIFA players. Uh, he could be back in the Prem. Uh, it was obviously on loan at West Ham, I believe, last season and could be back um, again. Now, there's talk about Faguli leaving uh, West Ham United for Roma. Now, we hear that deal is still a possibility, uh, but after his goal at the weekend, I would probably say that deal is more than likely won't happen. And Cavani, who was linked with a move to China, uh, it looks as if um, he is about to sign a new contract for PSV. As of yet, the contract not been signed, but it looks as if um, he is on the verge of signing a new uh, contract. Fonte, no uh, word as of yet on his future, although we do know Liverpool not interested in signing the striker. Um, but at the same time, yeah, no confirmation as to where he will end up. Alexis Sanchez obviously got into a bit of a strop at the weekend for being brought off from the... Uh, 
brought off against Swansea when they saw before and up. Obviously, just wanted to score a few more goals. I don't mind players like that, but obviously a lot of rumours around Alexis Sanchez whether he'll sign a new contract. But that's nothing that will happen this transfer window. Uh, that will be the talk of next transfer window if uh, Alexis Sanchez asks for a move away from um, Arsenal, which would be a pretty big transfer story, to say the least. Uh, Giroud, again, another player to be linked uh, with China, but he says he's not tempted uh, for China. And Bojan requested to leave Stoke City and Middlesbrough have been told it's going to take £12 million to sign uh, the Spanish midfielder stroke forward. Um, so, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, Bojan wanted to leave uh, Stoke City. He's being allowed to leave Stoke City if the right price is given. And it looks as if £12 million is what Stoke City wants uh, to happen. Uh, Chelsea uh, striker Michy Bessoir linked with... Uh, a loan move to PSG. According to the Daily Mail, Chelsea have turned down two loan uh, deals uh, as Conte apparently still wanted the Belgian to sell the club, which I think is a bad thing. I think he needs to go out on loan um, and he needs to, yeah, 100% go out on loan. I would rather in the Premier League, if I'm honest. Um, and, and yeah, but at the moment, as I say, not, um, not going to be going out on loan. And, and Conte wanted him in the team. That's the same with Loftus Cheek. No move on that. I expect Loftus Cheek to stay at the club. But that could be something. Loftus Cheek could be a low move that could happen uh, in the last few days of the transfer window. Sunderland, uh, talking about Norwich. We've heard a lot about Norwich and a lot of their. I mean, it's all fallen apart at Norwich City. Uh, and Robbie Brady looks like the new Norwich City player to leave. Uh, Sunderland have launched a bid for Brady. Palace were interested. That had been rejected. Uh, Hull City have been interested. Leicester City have been interested. Uh, West Ham, I think, were interested in Brady at one point. A lot of people interested in um, Robbie Brady from Norwich City. I expect that deal to go across the line before the end of the window. But I think Norwich City just waiting and seeing who's going to bid more and playing the waiting game, which uh, from a business point, you can't expect, uh, you can't uh, really, you know, disagree with. It's a smart move from Norwich City. Uh, an interesting line from last night, West Brom and Giambi, according to the Sky Sources, launched a £10 million bid uh, for Hull City midfielder Jake Livermore. Now, Livermore, uh, Hull City want to keep Livermore. No word as of yet whether they've accepted or rejected uh, that bid. But we know West Brom were, in the market for a defensive midfielder uh, when they wanted to get uh, Morgan Schneider in. They did actually bid to sign him, but it, it failed. And he in the end joined uh, Everton. But it looks like they might have now turned their attentions to Jake Livermore. He would be the perfect Tony Pulis player. I do expect it to happen. Um, Tom Carroll uh, to Swansea City. Waiting confirmation on that uh, deal. And that's the same as Anton Ledin Docourt to Aston Villa. Apologies about pronunciation there. Again, just waiting for confirmation. Swansea City expected to allow Wayne Routledge to go to Birmingham City. Uh, that one looking likely. Um, and there's also rumours about Guidolin from Watford going to uh, Aston Villa as well. And the surprising news that came out yesterday about Manchester City possibly putting in a bid for 20 million for Ben Davis to go to Tottenham. Uh, no word as of yet on whether that will actually happen. I highly doubt it will happen. It would be a bizarre move in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much... Uh, the main stories really the payout and, and Costa one uh, dominating the news for the past couple of days it looks like the Costa one has faded away ever so slightly um, and that it doesn't look as if he is going to be leaving the football club as many Chelsea fans expected and it looks like the media did build that that story up uh, a lot a hell of a lot uh, to say the least. However, the Pyatt one, it seems like that one does have a bit more uh, in it and, and a bit more uh, legs in that deal. Um, so, yeah, that is a roundup of all the transfer gossip and news. Uh, anything I did miss, make sure you let me know down in the comment section below. And I will be back in the next couple of days when a few more transfers go across the line. Because we still have a couple of weeks before this transfer window closes. And if Swansea City and Sunderland and, and Hull City and even possibly Crystal Palace start panicking, possibly even Middlesbrough, about their Premier League survival, then you can expect a lot of transfers to go around. So many more deals to come through. I'm sure there'll be a few more curveballs before now and the end of the window. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and I'll be back next time. Goodbye. Chelsea Carimo Season 2 starts tonight at 5 o'clock, so don't miss it.